Tom Ofelder, Board of Selectmen, Town Meeting Member, Precinct C. Warrant Article 5. Article 5 requests Town Meeting approval to amend the Town Salary Plan and Pay Schedule. Motions 1, 3 are included in the Consent Agenda, and Motions 4 through 6 are not, and instead are presented separately to ensure that Town Meeting Members receive a level of detail and explanation and an opportunity for questions that will enable town meeting to deliberate and vote. The greatest asset within our town government is our employees, and over a number of years the selectmen have been evaluating salaries to ensure that we are paying our employees appropriately. We want our employees to know that they are valued and that we recognize their commitment and dedication to the town. Motions 4 through 6 represent the labor contracts for our public safety employees. Our analysis this year disclosed that police sergeant and firefighter salaries in particular were near the bottom of the range for all comparable communities. We have lost personnel from both departments to other departments or to retirement. Individuals who were highly valued and trained members of both departments. Replacing police and fire department personnel is expensive. It can cost up to $100,000 to train an individual and prepare them to serve. The past few months in particular demonstrate the unusual and unexpected risks our police and firefighters face every day. They should know that we recognize and deeply appreciate their skill and dedication to their job and our community. Megan Jopp, Executive Director. Thank you, Tom, for that introduction. I will go through the articles related to motions four, five, and six, the patrolmen, superior officers, and firefighters union contracts. Before I begin, I'd like to give an overview of the settlement fundamentals. Prior to commencing bargaining, the negotiating team meets with the Board of Selectmen and the Selectmen provide parameters with regards to finances. The team, through negotiation, will return to the Board of Selectmen for updates. With Board of Selectmen approval, the team offers a financial settlement that's affordable for the town and comparable in the region. This year, in particular, for police and fire, we spent a great amount of time looking at the comparison of salaries within the region. Through the negotiation, the town and union bargain in good faith and have reached tentative agreements within these parameters. The selectmen and unions have both ratified the agreements, and town meeting now has a responsibility to approve funding for the first year of the contract. For these particular contracts, they are three years. The town has eight municipal unions under the jurisdiction of the Board of Selectmen. The Police Superior Officers, Police Patrolmen's Association, Police Dispatch, the Firefighters, the Library Association, the DPW Supervisors, the DPW Production, and the Facilities Maintenance Department Custodians. Through this year's negotiations, prior to COVID-19, we were able to come to terms with Superior Officers patrolmen, and firefighters. It is our expectation that prior to June 22nd, the Library Association will also be approved. As part of this year's settlement, we did a comprehensive public safety salary survey in conjunction with the unions. The town and unions worked collaboratively to conduct comprehensive compensation analysis. In terms of choosing our comparable communities, as you'll see earlier in the HR presentation, typically the town looks to 16 other communities. We've narrowed that down further as part of this analysis. We looked at communities within proximity of three abutting communities to Wellesley. We also looked at those communities with a population range of 50% to 150% of Wellesley's range. That's approximately 14,000 people uh, population to approximately 44, 45,000. We also compared tax rates of the communities per capita income and similar equalized valuations. As part of that, 
we looked at increments of service for 10 years and 20 years, and we evaluated stipends afforded to all personnel. As Tom Allfelder indicated in his opening remarks, fair market compensation is a priority for the Board of Selectmen. Staff is the town's greatest asset. Through the compensation survey, public safety unions were found to be behind the median salary range. The board is recommending bringing them to the midpoint. To date, five unions remain unsettled due to COVID-19. Those unions will be brought to the fall special town meeting. It is our expectation that prior to June 22nd, the library likely would be settled. This is a map identifying the comparable communities for the police negotiations. Both the superior offices as well as the patrol association use these communities. The communities are highlighted in green. Wellesley is located in the red. These communities comprise Ashland, Belmont, Concord, Dedham, Lexington, Milton, Natick, Needham, Sudbury, and Westwood. Motion 4 identifies the settlement for the police superior officers. The unit is comprised of 10 positions, 4 lieutenants, 6 sergeants. Unlike many unions, the superior officers do not have steps. They only have a base salary amount, which is adjusted each year by a cost of living adjustment. The comparison for the superior officers evaluated both lieutenants and sergeants at 10 years of service. The median salary for lieutenants was found to be $134,000 and for sergeants slightly over $109,000. The amount Wellesley was below the median for both lieutenants and sergeants was approximately $4,800. The settlement, which I will go through in detail shortly, the total cost of that to fund year one would be $85,912. This is a comparison of the FY20 salaries for the comparable communities. The median, Watertown, is identified in purple at just over $135,000. Wellesley lieutenants are found to be $129,544. Needham on the top end is at $165,000. As part of the analysis and part of the tentative agreement, the settlement would be for a three-year contract, FY21 to FY23. There would be 2% increases each of the three years under the cost of living adjustment. I'll further now break out agreements with regards to lieutenants. Lieutenants currently work an administrative schedule Monday through Friday, so five days on, two days off. However, all staff at the police department are scheduled for a five days on, three days off schedule. Because of the administrative schedule, lieutenants work 31 more days than all, of our, all other officers in the department. As such, lieutenants receive 31 days owed, which can either be taken as compensatory time or paid out up to approximately $15,000. As part of this negotiation and settlement, the town agreed to roll the $15,000 into the base salary to eliminate days owed and to have the lieutenants work strictly an administrative schedule. In addition to that, financial components of the agreement include the elimination of a $4 a day meal allowance, the limit of payout of unused vacation days to 10 shifts, and adding the uh, drug testing policy for the first time to the superior officers. With the settlement, Wellesley would go from second to the bottom to the third above median at $147,960. It's worth noting that all of these salaries are based upon FY20. So FY21, they'll also shift. They are not stagnant. They will increase based upon contractual agreements. So as the other communities settle, we'll see a shift. Our goal is to try and keep Wellesley close to the median over the next three years. For sergeants, we evaluated a 10-year sergeant um, and evaluated all stipends that staff are entitled to. 
Milton became the median at almost $109,000. Wellesley for FY20 was uh, below, second to the bottom, at $104,444. Natick in this instance was the top uh, at $122,756. The sergeant's contract is the same with regards to the three-year and uh, three-year contract and two percent cost of living adjustment each year. In addition to that, looking at the additional workload of the sergeants, an administrative stipend was added. It would be rolled in over the next three years. It will be one percent in FY21. It will be increased to three percent in FY22 and will be increased further to 5% in FY23. The administrative detail is for the additional work, including the filling of details for all work on Wellesley uh, Public Ways. In addition to that, they manage the electronic scheduling for dispatch and patrol shifts, and they also schedule time off for um, all officers and dispatchers. Further, they also the sergeants are also responsible for working with applicants in issuing hawker and peddler licenses, the ice cream vendor approval, livery licenses. They also manage the sex offender registry. The sergeants assist Lieutenant Renzella with firearms licensing. They assist Lieutenant Showstead traffic and parking with traffic enforcement. They also lead and conduct field training of new officers. In comparison to other communities, we found that the sergeants typically perform those duties of a lieutenant in other communities. Additionally, uh, the sergeants would also have the meal allowance eliminated. We would limit the payout of unused vacation days and the drug test policy would be added. With the increase, Wellesley's FY20, again, base salary with stipends that all sergeants would be entitled to, would be increased from 104.44 to 106.439. Milton at the median is at 108.722. The Patrolman's Union is Motion 5. There are 34 positions in the unit. We evaluated salaries at 10 years and 20 years of service. We evaluated educational incentives, both the Quinn and secondary education. Quinn is a percentage-based educational uh, stipend, which includes 10% for an associate's degree, 20% for a bachelor's degree, and 25% for a master's degree on top of your base pay. That was phased out in 2009. A secondary education straight amount stipend was approved following that. Salaries were found, again, to be below the median. The total cost of settlement in year one for the Police Patrolman's Union is $88,712. Due to the various levels of educational attainment and the split between those officers that have a Quinn bill um, or percentage-based educational stipend, versus a flat rate second education, secondary education stipend, we've created a chart identifying the various differences uh, with the various communities. In all aspects, with a 10-year and 20-year base pay, in addition to that, looking at those officers who have the uh, percentage-based educational incentive versus the flat rate, Wellesley was found to be below all of the median incomes. ranging largely from $2,200 upwards to uh, over $4,000 for 20 years of service with a, a master's in secondary ed. So currently, if we evaluated a 10-year officer with a secondary education incentive who holds uh, an EMT license who works nights, which is looking at the evening and midnight shifts, uh, Wellesley is found to be below the median. The median would be Westwood in this particular instance with uh, approximately $84,000 in salary. Wellesley's below 
at a little over $82,000. The tentative agreement for the Police Patrolman's Union includes a three-year contract with a 2% cost of living adjustment in each year. In addition to that, uh, there would be modifications to the current step plan. There currently are five steps at the patrolman's contract. We'd be proposing a, a new step below step one for the 22 weeks that an individual is at the police academy. In addition to that, we're proposing a 10-year and 25-year set to recognize length of service of individuals. Uh, each step would be a 3% increase. In exchange for the 10 and 25-year steps, the union has agreed to eliminate uh, longevity, which is currently a percentage-based increase. Uh, we, uh, under this proposal, would eliminate the cap on an EMT stipend. Most Patrol officers receive a 4% stipend for acquiring EMT certification. Several of the patrol staff who also hold specialty positions as either a detective, as the dog officer, for example, or as the court officer have a reduction in their EMT stipend based upon additional stipends that they hold. Under this proposal, we would eliminate the cap and allow those individuals to have the full 4%. We have a provision in the contract that allows individuals who are currently injured on duty, not working, to continue to accumulate 150 days of sick time. This would allow for a reduction of accumulation up to 90 days, decreasing the town's liability. As previously discussed, the town also has secondary education incentives. Under this provision, the town over the life of the contract would increase the associate degree, secondary compensation, the bachelor's degree, and the master's degree. The associate's degree would only be increased from $5,500, the current pay, to $6,750 in year one. The bachelor's degree would increase from $11,000 and incrementally increase over the life of the contract to year three up to $13,700. The master's degree would also be increased over the life of the contract and incrementally go from $12,000 to $17,000. The Town of Wellesley currently assists officers seeking a bachelor's. They uh, do not assist in the cost of credits for those individuals seeking a master's degree. We see this as the incentive to continue education in the field of criminal justice, where uh, laws are currently always evolving. And the town uh, saw real benefit in trying to create educational incentives, particularly for master's degrees. After year one of the contract, the uh, again, Westwood being the median, Wellesley would move from two below the median to two above. And again, these numbers aren't stagnant. Each of these individuals' communities would be continuing to evaluate the salaries based upon union uh, contract negotiations, as well as uh, cost of living adjustments already approved for those uh, already under contract, typically at 2%. So the numbers are ever moving. And the town is consistently trying to, over the life of this contract, uh, keep patrol in the mid range of the comparable communities. Motion six of Article five is the Firefighters Union. The Firefighters Union is comprised of 53 positions, five deputy chiefs, 13 lieutenants, and 35 firefighters. Under this analysis, we evaluated salaries at 15 years of service for a firefighter with an associate's degree. The salaries were found to be significantly below median. The median compensation was found to be $79,581. Wellesley was found to be $6,200 below the median. After I review the agreed upon tentative agreement, the cost of the settlement in total would be $377,364. Under the comparable communities for the firefighters union, we evaluated um, a number of communities under the same scenarios as police. There are slight modifications due to fire operations, and the comparable communities included 
Arlington, Belmont, Concord, Dedham, Lexington, Milton, Natick, Needham, Norwood, and Westwood. The Firefighters Association was found to be considerably below the median. Lexington in this analysis held the median at $79,661. Wellesley was second to last with $73,378. The financial provisions under Motion 6 include the three-year contract. Based upon the salary compensation analysis, the Board of Selectmen have agreed to a one-time salary adjustment in year one of 4%. In addition to the 4%, there would be a 2% cost of living adjustment in years one through three. The firefighters would also receive an increase in holiday pay from a quarter of a week salary to a half a week's salary for holidays that are actually worked. As part of the negotiation, the town agreed to allow for reimbursement of injured on duty, cancer presumptive cases, expenses up to $2,000 to assist our firefighters that are undergoing cancer treatment. In addition to that, the town has agreed to an increase in longevity of uh, 10 to 14 years would receive $500, 15 to 19, 750, 20 to 24 years, $1,000, 25 to 29 years, 1250, and 30 or more years, $1,500 annually. With the adoption of all of these financial provisions, the town would be just behind the median in year one at $79,980. Excuse me, at $78,980. This shows a FY20, FY21 comparison on all of the ranks. Deputy Chiefs would move from $95,231 to $102,564. Lieutenants, uh, $281 to $88,583. And Firefighters, $73,378 to $78,980, just below median. The Board of Selectmen, as indicated above, believes that paying our staff equitably and fairly to market compensation is critical at a time where we continue to lose firefighters and police officers to other departments due to non-competitive salary. In addition, given the cost to train these employees at, in general, $100,000 per individual, the town feels it necessary to provide equitable pay. This seems to be a considerable pay increase. However, over the last three rounds of negotiation, the town has continually tried to address pay inequities and continues to fall further behind. This is a one-time effort to try and get our people up to the median. And the Board of Selectmen, as such, requests your favorable action.